Hi there, welcome back to the Dutch Sheet channel. Thank you very much for tuning in again. And as the title of the video states, this is the kickoff for another scratch build project of mine. And um, this, uh, the, the wing you, you see here is one of the wings I scratched builds. This is my speed wing, a very fast uh, flying wing. And well, um, if you've followed my channel for a while, you know that I have built quite a few wings by now. Um, I'm not sure how many, but a lot. So by now I know how to build a well-behaved flying wing. Um, so to challenge myself a little more, I'm going to be building a reverse swept uh, flying wing. And what does that mean? Well. Um, in the wing you see here, this is the nose, so the, the airplane will be flying in that direction, which you will uh, would um, uh, assume when you see uh, a wing like this, and uh, it's uh, kind of like a, a, a delta uh, plane without a tail. Um, so uh, the, the, the aim of this project is to make a flying wing that will fly that way, so this will be the nose of the plane, and I won't be uh, trying to imitate the X29 you saw in the thumbnail of this video. Um, that's just one famous uh, reverse swept wing design, not a super successful one. And the reason for that is that um, I've, I've done quite a bit of research on uh, reverse. Uh, flying wings and a lot of projects uh, fail. Um, the, the, the failing of those projects uh, mainly have to do with uh, aerodynamics. The aerodynamics of a reverse flying wing are quite different from a normal flying wing like, like this one. Um, I won't bother you with the how and uh, why of that. If you are interested um, I could do a separate video on that, so uh, let me know if you are interested in that. Um, let's see. So, um, of course, the the newly built uh, reverse flying wing won't have um, vertical stabilizers like you see on this one, because the vertical stabilizers need to uh, be at the end of the plane, so they'll probably end up around here, or maybe one here and one here. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in that sense. And another consideration is where to put the motor. Will I be uh, placing the motor at the front or at the back? You tell me. Um, I'm open to suggestions at the, this moment. I've done a general well design in my head of the, the plane. Uh, but uh, most uh, considerations, uh, design considerations, are open at this moment. Um, let's see. Yeah, um, like I said, I want to challenge myself a little more than just a standard wing, uh, which is uh, one of the reasons. But I also like the shape of it. It kind of looks a little like uh, a Cylon Raider from uh, Galactica, the TV series. Now, I won't uh, make a replica of that. Uh, I think that'll be very challenging to make a Cylon Raider fly well, but who knows. Uh, this is the first version I will be making of a reversed flying wing. And uh, it, might, it might actually not fly at all, uh, who knows. Uh, but, uh, well, um, I'll then make different versions uh, to see what what's wrong and uh, what works on reverse flying wings. Um, yeah, there's not much uh, to it uh, further for this video. <coughs> Sorry, uh, this is the kickoff, and um, I hope to be able to take you along in my build and design process, and that'll be covered in the next videos in this series. So, um, well, hope you're interested in that series, and, um, and then I'll see you back in the other videos of it. Bye bye.